Today's guest helps scientists communicate more Welcome effectively. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you very much. Everybody, I have to say that in spite of the rain, nevertheless... I'm a big believer in trying to see other people's perspectives. To have a conversation. And journalists are very similar in that they're both storytellers. We need to make audiences feel like they're a part of the scientific endeavor. I grew up in a very rural part of northern Michigan. My parents had this idea of living off the land, and that was part of how I developed a love of nature and also just a curiosity about the world. When I was a teenager, I really wanted to study marine biology. I spent a lot of time in a dark room by myself. And I realized that going the traditional research path for the rest of my career was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to reach out and have a, a broader impact. Your organization, the Metcalf Institute, is really interested in helping journalists report more effectively on science, but also helping scientists communicate more effectively with the public. Scientists now have the opportunity to be far more engaged in public conversations. Unfortunately, scientists aren't well prepared to do that. I knew that scientific information can literally be a matter of life and death. It's not the, the data or the information itself. It is how that information is understood and how it's communicated. And so the fundamental passion for me is facilitating equitable access to scientific information. The most important thing that scientists need to be thinking about right now is focusing on how to engage in conversations with a much wider range of people and respond in ways that may change that scientist's research program, their research methods, the ways they think about sharing their research findings. There are many people who have been marginalized from conversations about science for no reason other than systemic racism and structural inequality. We want to bring together people who are doing truly inclusive and intersectional and equitable science communication to raise all of those voices, amplify those voices, so that science and science communication are far richer. We are facing a maelstrom of significant, globally relevant environmental problems. So we need to be sure that all of these voices are at the table and are thinking about identifying and solving problems.